hello let's see how we are going to solve the value of x here in this beautiful exponential and olympiad problem so we need to stay focused this is a viral problem okay that needs to uh you have to focus so that you will see how we are going to solve this let's solve this together so now here what i'm going to do first of all you should recall we have 3 to the power s dot 5 to the power s square equals 15. so i want you to recall from the law of logarithm we have log a multiplied by b you know this can be log a then plus log b if you remember so that is from the law of in logarithm okay so we're going to have that so the same thing we are going to do here okay we're going to introduce logarithm to the both sides of the equation so now i would like to be raising the board because of the size of the board so here we have log 3 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of x squared and equals log redeem of no this one here 15 can also be written as 3 multiplied by 5 so here we're going to have log according to what we said the other time it will be 3x then plus log 5 to the power of x squared equals log 3 plus log 5 understood so we have transformed the equation to log redeem form so now from here when you have this this x here, which is which happened to the power be the power we have to come down and multiply log 3 then plus the same thing s squared we come down we have log 5 then equals log 3 plus log what log 5 so now from here i want to rewrite this equation so that i will transform all of this to this place and i will have the s with what with the highest power therefore s square log what log 5 plus x log 3 then all of this will be coming down here we have minus log 3 minus log what log 5 and everything will be zero now when you look at this critically you can see that we are having s square we are having x here and everything here is just constant term so which shows that we can have this to be log here we can have it to taking minus outside okay i can put the brackets here and this will turn to positive so now according to this we can equate let's try to relate this to quadratic equation in terms of x so you can see that here the constant coefficient of a square will be a is going to be log 5 okay b is going to be log 3 and c is going to be what minus log 3 plus log 5 so that's what we are going to have are you following so now from there so the next thing we're going to do is that we know that we're going to have x to be all over 2a so here we're going to have x equals minus the b is log 3 we have log 3 plus or minus then we're going to have or we're going to have b square is log 3 we have log 3 all squared and minus 4 into bracket a is log 5 we have log 5 okay then multiply by c is this and that is or that is minus and you know that this minus will affect this minus it will be plus then we have log 3 plus what plus log 5 then all over what 2 times a which is what log 5 something of this we have x equals x will be equals to minus log 3 plus or minus we have the square root of log 3 all squared plus now here we're going to use this to multiply this right so we're going to have 4 log 5 dot log 3 okay plus 4 log 5 all squared by 2 log 5 so let's see what we can do here log 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 log 3 4 log 5 dot log 3 plus 4 log 5 squared because i'm going to be erasing the board okay i'm going to be erasing the board i'm going to be erasing the board all right so know that we can rewrite this s equals minus log 3 okay plus or minus 
the square root of 4, the square root of log 3, all squared, plus, I can rewrite this as 2. I can rewrite this as 2, multiplied by 2, okay, log 5, log 3, okay, plus, here, I can take 4 inside, I mean, like 2, then, log 5, all square. So, is this going to be the same thing? 2 log 5 all square, the same thing as 4 log 5 all to the power of 2. So, 2 to the power of 2 will give us this 4. Then, log 5 raised to the power of 2, which is the same thing. So, we're going to have this to be 2 log what? 2 log 5. Now, from there, the next thing we're going to do, we have x equals minus log 3 plus or minus. Now, if you look at this, before that, when you look at this expression here, if you have log 3 plus 2 log 5, all to the power of 2. This will give us, square this, we have log 3 all squared, okay, plus 2 multiplying 2 log 5 multiplied by log 3, okay, then plus 2 log 5 all squared. So this is what we're going to have if you do this. Now, when you look at this expression, you see that that is what we have inside the radical sign here. So, we're going to have x to be minus log 3 plus or minus. Everything here is going to be log 3 plus 2 log what? 5 all squared. Then divided by what? Divided by 2 log what? Log 5. Are you following? So, now from there, the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to have x equals minus log 3 plus or minus, you see this, we cancel this, we're going to have into bracket log 3 plus 2 log what? Log 5. Are you with me? Divided by 2 log what? Log 5. So we're going to have x equals minus log 3. Now take plus positive first, log 3, then plus 2 log 5, all over 2 log 5. So now you can see from here, log 3, we cancel this one here. We're going to have x equals, that is x1 is going to be 2 log 5 divided by 2 log 5. This, we cancel this, we're going to have 1. So x1 equals 1. So this is the first solution. Okay? So we have, that is when x equals, what? when we take positive here. So taking negative, so, S is going to be minus log 3 minus into bracket log 3 minus plus 2 log what? Log 5. Right? So, we're going to have we're going to have all over 2 log 5. So, this is going to be X equals minus log 3 minus log 3. Then, minus times plus, we're going to have what? Minus 2 log 5. Then, all divided by 2 log 5. So now from here we have x to be equals minus log 3 minus log 3. We're going to have minus 2 log 3. Okay. Minus 2 log 5. All over 2 log 5. So now from here we can have x to be equals minus 2 log 3. All over 2 log 5. Minus 2 log 5 all over 2 log what? 2 log 5. Okay, so from here, you can see that the 2, we cancel the 2 here. 2, we cancel the 2. Everything here. Everything here, we cancel. We're going to have 1, right? So here, we're going to have x to be equals. Here, minus log 3 over log 5. This is going to be minus log we have base 5, then log 3 minus 1. Okay? That is x2 is going to be, since minus is minus is common, I have 1 plus log base 5, then 3. And that's the solution. So we have x1 equals 1 or x2 equals, so these are the two possible values of x we have for this particular equation so you can put the value back to the equation and see whether 
they satisfy or not so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the class kindly share to your colleagues subscribe to our youtube channel so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content thank you bye, -bye.